Hi, my name is Alex Horowitz. I'm the uh, CTO for Excita, which is a health information exchange in the Central Valley region and also uh, Eastern Kern County. Uh, I'm here with my uh, software vendor, BrowserSoft, to show off um, a couple different functions of direct messaging that we use internally and externally in our health information exchange, as well as our longitudinal record aggregation. Um, I have a brief clinical story I'd like to start going through. So um, the clinical story we have here is a patient presents to the Tatchby Hospital emergency room. This patient lives in Modesto, California, uh, about 300, well, about six hours north of, uh, of Tehachapi. And he comes in having, uh, you know, he has a swollen foot. He's unable to really give a very good history to the ER doctor. He, um, you know, he has two pills, one for blood, the other one for sugar. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. So the ER doc's going to consult the Excita Health Information Exchange portal to see if there's community data on this patient. Um, I've already done the patient search, and uh, this is the community record that's pulled up for the patient. Uh, his name is uh, Alpine Sample. And you can see some of his other, um, some of his other visits here, um, some of his you know, medications. He's on lisinopril and metformin. He's got, um, you know, so he's got hypertension. He's got uh, diabetic peripheral neuropathy. Of course, he can't feel his foot. Um, so the ER doc's going to go ahead and get an x-ray. Um, there's no problems. He's going to put this guy on Augmentin for the infection that he's got in his foot and um, you know, get a culture, send him back home and say, yeah, see your, ER, or see your primary care physician in about four days. Um, and he should take a look at it. Hi, my name is Jim Cook. I'm the technology vendor for Excita with BrowserSoft. And now that we've finished with the patient from um, the emergency room, we're going to tr uh, transfer that record into the health information exchange uh, software. So now I'm going to show on the, uh, on the page what that document looks like. So I'm going to manually paste a HL7 record into the Health Information Exchange engine. This is something that would happen behind the scenes that a typical user wouldn't see something like this. So that's your standard HL7 record. And I'm going to send that message in. Now one of the things our Health Information Exchange uh, has as part of uh, the notification module is physicians can sign up to receive a notification if any of their patients uh, go into the emergency room. So now, I, I now have just received a, uh, an alert on my smartphone that says one of your patients has gone into the ER room. I, I, guess I get it on my smartphone, I also get an email message. Now, there's no uh, uh, patient health information that's sent to the, sent to the uh, smartphone since there's not an encoding capability there. So I'm just gonna go to my email and look at and see what they uh, have sent me. So in my email, um, I get this notification saying one of your patients uh, has some information you need to take a look at. I'm sent to the HIE. I log in. And the other thing that the email uh, sends is an embedded link directly to the patient that uh, I need to take a look at. So it sent me this information from Sam, uh, Alpine Sample. I log in. I'm going to look at that same uh, clinical view that we just saw, which gives all this um, diabetes information, the neuropathy information, but it also has uh, the summary discharge. So I, I see that encounter type of emergency room discharge. So that's kind of the first phase of our demonstrations that we're showing how you can get alerted when one of your patients goes into ER. Now as a PCP, I'm going to go to the next step and I'm going to refer this patient to another uh, clinician. So I'm going to go back to uh, this, uh, this view and I can, in addition to looking at the summary view, I can look at the actual source document that came in. So here's the, um, here's that ER discharge summary um, specific to that encounter and I'm going to take this and I'm going to send this guy to a uh, a physician using direct technology. So now I'm now entering the direct phase and I, uh, I'm going to send this message to an ER doctor who's in our system who has a direct account. And I'm going to send this message to someone who's outside of our health information exchange. And so I'm going to send this, this message, and now I'm going to go into my, um, 
my direct account, and here's that message, and I sent uh, that uh, transition to care document, and I can look at it in my direct uh, email account. So there's the ER visit, and, and this different than the HIE view is that this physician is not part of our HIE. He can go right in and look at that clinical record and make a, a, a judgment based on uh, this information. So that's showing alerts and using direct for a, a patient referral system. That's our demonstration.